Let's look at regions and availability zones. So first let's have a look at regions. So Amazon Web Services have regions across the world that can be used to host their resources. Now they keep on expanding by adding new data centers across the world. So if you look at the AWS documentation, you will see all the regions in the world which currently have data centers that you can use to host resources. We will have a look at this when we go into the AWS documentation for the global infrastructure. Now what could influence your decision as to where you would host your resource. So there are different regions located across the world. So which region would you use to host resources? Well, the factors that could influence your decision are, some of them are. So first is close proximity to your users. So let's say your users are located in the Singapore region. Then you might decide to host the resources in the Singapore region in AWS. So since your users would be closest to the resources, they would have a much better response time for the application hosted on those resources in AWS. Another factor could be the data requirement for a specific region. So let's say that data needs to be stored in a specific region in the world. You might then use that region in AWS to host the relevant resource. So there are different factors that could contribute as to where you would host your resource in AWS. Now next we come to availability zones. Now before we go into availability zones, just a quick note. So when you create resources in AWS, they are created in the underlying data center. Now remember that AWS is responsible for maintaining the data center and that the customer is not responsible for the underlying physical infrastructure. So the entire data center, the cooling, the power, the security, everything is the responsibility of AWS. Now AWS has multiple data centers and what they have done is that they have actually grouped these physical data centers into something known as an availability zone. It's just their way of ensuring that resources are more available. So when you create a resource or when you write data onto one data center, it gets replicated across multiple data centers just to ensure that your data is made more available. Now, apart from just having multiple data centers in one availability zone, they have gone even a step ahead. So when you look at the region perspective, so we have one availability zone with multiple data centers. Well, a region can consist of multiple availability zones. And the reason they have multiple availability zones is so that you as the customer can make use of them to enable high availability for your application. So again, why do they have multiple availability zones? So let's say the set of data centers in one availability zone goes down. If your application infrastructure is running off a secondary availability zone, then your application will still be up and running. So even though one of the availability zone goes down, you will still have the other intact. Now I just want to go to the AWS documentation. I just want to show you the graphical picture of the regions and availability zones. So here I am in the global infrastructure page in the AWS documentation. Now if you scroll down so you can see all the regions across the world where AWS has their presence. So if you go down to the legend, you can see the regions in which AWS have their data centers and you can also see the new and upcoming regions. Now in the regions itself, I said a region is made up of availability zones. And remember each availability zone is either one or multiple data centers. So again, if you look at the world map where they have their presence, each circle has a number in it. And that number indicates the number of availability zones in that particular region. So when you're planning on hosting your resources in AWS, 
you can look at the global infrastructure in where they have their presence and then decide which is the region in which you want to host your resource. For more details visit www.wizlabs.com Learn with Wizlabs. Success. Certified.